rubbings on headstones and they do rubbings on um, uh, sewer covers and, and just all kinds of strange things. And so I just thought that it would be really cool to put this underneath there and do a rubbing underneath of it. I have a scrap that I always try. This is uh, just an extra piece before I try it on my my chosen piece that I'm really trying to save to make something with, then I come along and I experiment on a scrap. And this is where I put this on like so. I again chose a, a, uh, a oil pastel stick and it did the rubbings. And it gave me a design like so. So anything that your imagination can come through just try it. Just get you a piece. You can see here I had a stamp. I did the multicolored stamps off of like so. And I stamped like this. This is another stabilizer that is new to the Selkie family. And it's called Tender Touch. And it's an iron-on soft stabilizer that you use with embroidery. But I painted it and ironed it on so that I could see if I could get a third dimension. I also have these little sponge fingertips that you, they're sponge on the end. You can dab them into your, your, uh, your stamps and stamp around like so to make it look like bubbles. So I'd like to show you how I further stable, uh, how I further embellished some of my, my, my dyed cutaway. Uh, this piece I particularly liked really, really well. And it was uh, as long as, not quite as long as my cutting table. And I had two pieces laying side by side. I had this one on one side, sopping wet, and then I had another one on this side, sopping wet. And I started uh, by just covering the whole thing with a very light blue. Well, this piece got so heavily laden with water that it started running that direction. And I saw it happening, and it just became so amazing and so beautiful. I thought, well, I can't destroy that piece because it just truly is just so gorgeous. And it kind of gave me the image of um, hanging flowers in the woods. So I went, I let it dry without further touching it. Then I went back in with some more dye and my sponge. And I just sponged some green to give it that more impression of the leaves hanging down. And so I think when I finish this one, I'm going to have a theme of fairies in the woods and, and really get it involved with something uh, mystical. So I really love this piece and it turned out well. You can see on the back side where it wasn't wet, the entire piece was not wet because I hadn't got to it, but the other had bled in there so I just left it. All these light spots are where the, um, the cutaway was not wet. So then it comes to the one that we have below. This one is one of my favorite ones. I wanted to show you how that I stenciled this and I made stencils out of my, uh, uh, my uh, totally stable. The undulating lines, the seaweed, the, the baby's face, and the wording. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to show you I've already started with an undulating line on the back side and I've started stamping with some. I have these little uh, cutting tools that help with tearing. And you can lay this down and you can just tear like so. And you have your undulating designs. Well, Because it is iron on, I can iron this on like so. Let me pull this over just a little bit. And I want another set of lines going this direction. So I'm going to iron this piece of totally stable on there. Now remember the slick side sticks. See, so it's there. It's gone. All right. Then I have paint sticks, which are oil paint sticks and a stencil brush. And I'm going to stencil along the edge. I can pull that up, see where my stencil is. Then I can use the other side in another direction and I can re-iron that piece down because my totally stable is repositionable and I can use it over again. 
then I can start with my stencil one more time and use that again. And you can see how I worked and made the undulating lines of my inner child. On this side, I, I did this side with a, uh, with a uh, Figma pen. And as you can see, the, uh, the transfer pen was drawn. And I've he preheated this piece of fabric right here. And I've already got my pattern waiting for me with my uh, transfer pens. And I'm going to heat just for a second or two and show the transfer. And you can see that I've transferred my image. On this one, I further embellished it with uh, some more ink and a pen. I'm so happy that you joined me today. I'm Carol Ingram, and thank you.